Link and cashback code in the description. What is going on everybody? Welcome back today guys to the channel. Tuesday morning, January 15th, which means it is officially update day. Now they did a live stream yesterday showcasing all of the new features. I wanted to kind of go over all of these with you for today and give you up to date information as to what to expect for today. Now it did say it will be dropping at around 6 p.m. GMT, which I do believe is three hours behind Eastern Standard. So I think it's gonna be about 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I could be wrong, but correct me in the comment section down below. I appreciate it. Today though, what you're watching some uh, old school Forza Horizon 4 online adventure, team adventure, mind you. And uh, we're here with Floppy Pancake and Cobra. So today though, you're gonna see a little bit of dirty racing. I'm not gonna lie, okay, but these guys, right, I get a little bit crazy, we get a little bit off track. And sometimes, right, I mean, people will get into us first. We're not always the one causing the problems, but if they want to start it, right, I mean, I'm down to play it. That's all I'm saying. Today, though, Forza Horizon 4, uh, January update. This is what they're calling, I guess, Season 5. They're actually calling these seasons now. I didn't really know that was a thing, but kind of starting to sound like a Fortnite update, right? I mean, that's all I'm saying. We got Season 6 happening in February. Uh, I think they should just stick to, you know, the January updates myself, but... I uh, would love to know your personal opinion down below. Now, this actually covered quite a few things, and I didn't think it was going to be as informative as it was, but they did get into uh, pretty much everything that will be coming out for today. Now, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to have time to record an update of video. Oh, what? Hello. So, you will be expecting videos dropping tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., on the brand new cars and everything included in this January update or season five. Now, let's get into it, right? So we have a brand new free-for-all adventure coming in, which will also lead into some ranked free-for-all as well too. So obviously you have to unlock that to get into the rank. But, uh, you know, for everyone that wants to uh, say they're the best out there, right? Here's your chance to prove it. I will definitely be out there running those free-for-all adventures and trying to get, uh, you know, some decently ranked positions and uh, maybe even start a series on that. I'm not exactly too sure, but I want to start posting more Forza Horizon content. That's definitely, you know, what I want to do. Same with Forza Motorsport 7. We got the update coming down, which I will touch on in this video as well. But, uh, you know, both games getting heavily updated. We want to stay up to date with you guys. So if you want to keep seeing the content, the updates, make sure you guys slap that like button. I definitely do appreciate it. Car of choice for today, Alfa Romeo TZ2 with a pretty nasty little tune on it. Unfortunately, it didn't have a lot of top end speed on this race, but again, right, I'm off in a tangent, man. I'm so sorry. So, big news. Free for all update. We have a brand new story mode coming in, uh, which is a taxi story. Uh, you know, I definitely enjoy that there's something new coming in in terms of a story. I just. I just wish that there was a little bit more diversity in them, and I will talk about that in a second. Uh, we also had the entire list of the Car Pass cars get announced, and unfortunately, you know, I said this before, that, uh, you know, I feel like it's, you know, it's kind of ruining the surprise, uh, you know, as we see these cars in its entirety. We have to wait a full month to see the next set. I think it would be cool if they kind of separated them, you know, maybe broke them down from, you know, maybe three or four a week and kind of, you know, rolled them out that way instead of just, you know, showing their entire hand at the very start. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, but the list was pretty extensive, and I think, uh, you know, a lot of people will be happy with the list. I feel like there's a couple cars on there that I'm not going to really play with too much, but for the most part, though, um, I think the Car Pass cars are pretty good this month. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. Let me know down below what you would rather have had in these packs. Myself would have liked a G35, man. That's all I'm saying. Please. Turn 10 Forza, man. Throw it in there. I definitely appreciate that. We got Cobra up there in the Bone Shaker. Just absolutely killing it. Now, notable cars in this car pass. Uh, we had the beautiful 2019 Porsche 911 Carrera S. I uh, think about like 440 horsepower. Turboed has a nice little kind of, you know, it's a wider body style as well, too. And we're also going to be getting that car in Forza Motorsport 7 as well, too. So that's really cool to see it, you know, kind of coming in from both of them, which, you know, it should be, right? I mean, it's, I feel like it's pretty easy to transfer these cars nowadays. Uh, we also have the 65 Ford Transit van, uh, which I think is pretty damn cool. Obviously, you know, we had the Transit van. Now this is the older version, the 65. It's got a sliding front door and definitely uh, will have a various amount of engine swaps, I'm assuming, to really give it a little bit more horsepower than what it is given off the line. We also had a personal favorite of mine here, 68 Ford Mustang GT 2 Plus 2 Fastback from Bullet. Now what they said is that you can actually put all of the Bullet parts on the car to make it exactly like the movie. So I am very excited to do a nice little build on that car 
Um, I'm not exactly too sure on the order of release on these cars because obviously we're not going to get them all at once. Uh, but when they do come out, you definitely will know I will be driving them on the channel. So make sure you guys do subscribe with post notifications. We also have the 1966 IMP Hillman. Now it's actually a rear engine and it also is equivable with the police siren. So I thought that was pretty cool, the fact that we're going to have another police car in the game. Uh, we also are getting the NSX RGT. Uh, that's the 2005, and apparently there's only five in the world. I thought that was pretty cool. We're getting another rare car. Obviously, it's not a new car in the games. I do believe we've had that, but at least it's uh, new to the Forza Horizon 4 series. We also have the 2012 Rip Rod from Hot Wheels coming in. Again, I, I really don't care for that, to be honest with you. Uh, 63 Opal Cadet A dropping in. I think that's going to be a nice little build. And then the, uh, the 93 968 Porsche Turbo S. I thought that was cool to see that in the game, but... At the very end of the stream, they almost forgot to actually mention this, and they were kind of, you know, just trying to figure out what they forgot about. Uh, Mitsubishi is coming back into the game, and it's really big. Now, if you guys were following this gameplay right here, um, I kind of, you know, nudged him to get by him on that last little bit. We had a battle going for that whole race, but... Mitsubishi, they're finally back in the game, man. Seven free new cars dropping in. I'm really excited for this, right? Obviously, we need some new rally cars in the game. It's going to definitely freshen it up and give us that Subaru versus Mitsubishi rivalry going down for a lot of these and probably new, you know, championships dropping, you know, Forza-thon events and all that stuff too. So definitely interesting stuff coming from Forza Horizon 4 and Mitsubishi finally coming back into the game. Now hopefully we can get some other manufacturers back on board. To be completely honest with you, I don't know why there's any problems with any manufacturers with having their car in the game. I feel like it's free advertising almost for them and, you know, I would like to see, you know, hopefully more cars dropping in the near future. Obviously, Forza, it's a huge, huge reputation online. Um, you know, they've done nothing but good things over the last, you know, what has it been, like 25 years, it feels like. So I definitely hope um, that, you know, they can get bigger, more cars into these car lists. And obviously, you know, they have resources that they need to do. And what we're talking about this was that they did mention brake calipers, that they were going to be bringing those in. Now, unfortunately, uh, you know, due to them having to reposition a lot of them, you know, maybe kind of rework them on those models, it takes about an hour and a half to fix each car, right? So, right, you do the math, 550 cars, that's quite a bit of man hours right there. So, unfortunately, we're not going to see that for Season 5. We may see that for Season 6 or in February. But it's really great, though, to see Mitsubishi finally come to terms with Forza. Hopefully, other manufacturers will as well, too. But the chat was going crazy, though, when they did drop that down there. My group chats were going crazy. You know, the Facebook group chats, everybody wanted to see those coming back in. So, I'm really glad that they did that. Now, they have a brand new taxi mission coming in. It's about $100,000 to buy it. When I first pictured it, I thought it was going to be like a crazy taxi style to it but it's kind of very similar to the other kind of story missions that we've been given you know we have to get to the time of the event uh, there's no other vehicles with us it's just us you know kind of fighting against the clock some of them are fighting against some you know top speed runs and stuff like that but I would love to see them implement a damage meter for these and you know make them a little bit harder for people now they did say that they are going to make the three star timed events a little bit harder and more challenging so definitely expect that in the next coming months and if you do get through all 10 of them I do believe it's 10 of them you are going to get uh, the Aston FX4 which is an exclusive car to the wheel spins over about 10 million dollars in the auction house they said so if you don't already have it you will by the end of your time at Aisha's Taxi. Now they also added in the ability to uh, search for gamer tags now for your blueprints on these tracks, which is a really cool thing. There's obviously, right, there's a lot of blueprints getting made day by day, and it's gonna be really cool to filter out between you know your favorite friends and stuff like that that are making these really challenging blueprints that you're enjoying. You can find more by a quick search. They also are gonna make the leaderboards a little bit more accessible to view. Um, I'm not exactly too sure how they're gonna do that, but they did mention one of the biggest problems of the game on stream which is wall riding they said that they are frantically looking into it pretty much and they're trying to fix it obviously it, you know it takes time they're trying to work with the physics against the walls and they're trying to slow cars down um, so obviously it's still a problem you guys have seen my episodes people do it and they get very very far ahead so hopefully uh, that'll be fixed by about mid-february i'm guessing but other than that, though, that was mainly the points that I wanted to touch on for today. They also mentioned uh, that there will be a brand new drag racing seasonal championship coming as well, too, which is cool to see them coming back to drag racing finally and giving us some more events for that. Other than that, 
Um, you know, we're going to have faster lobbies for the free-for-all events. That was one thing that I did want to mention to you guys. Obviously, with the fact that you're not loading up a full team, free-for-alls are going to be loading in very, very quickly. So expect a lot of people in there. Probably going to be some really good competitive racing. And as I said, I will be definitely showcasing that on the channel. But brand new year, brand new season on Forza Horizon 4. Obviously, right, season 5. It's like we're damn playing PUBG and Fortnite out here. It's only a matter of time. So Forza Horizon 4 gets a battle royale. Imagine if that's expansion number two. Holy shit. I don't think it's going to happen, but if it does, there's going to be a lot of angry people, I feel like. Unless they do it proper, right? I mean, right? I, that's, that's, that's a whole other episode, man. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Hope you guys did enjoy this January update in about, what, 10 minutes or so? Not too shabby, right? The live stream went for about an hour. Condensed this to, you know, as much as I could for you guys. Ended up passing this man on the very last little bit of this race. But he turned the jets on. Got me right at the line right there. I will leave the full January link live stream down below for you guys if you would like to re-watch that down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're going to be posting at 4 o'clock today, but uh, the new content for Forza Horizon 4 won't be until tomorrow at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you guys do slap that like button, subscribe, and post notifications. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.